In this video, we're making bread, real bread, from all natural ingredients. Himalayan tartary buckwheat bread. Let me take a minute to shine a light on Himalayan tartary buckwheat. This is an ancient grain cultivated for centuries at high altitudes in the Himalayas, primarily in Tibet and Bhutan. And because it has to deal with harsh climates, it builds up resilience. And when something in nature builds up resilience, that makes it more nutrient dense. This stuff is legit, organic, packed with protein, vitamins, minerals like manganese, magnesium, zinc, not to mention it's high in antioxidants. That fends off inflammation. And it's gluten-free for any of you who have celiac disease or have gluten sensitivities. I love its distinctive flavor. It's earthy, robust, slightly bitter, but not too bitter. And it's got low allergenic potential, meaning if you're allergic to a lot of the foods, there's a good chance this isn't one of them. The brand I'm using for this recipe is by Big Bold Health, founded by Jeffrey Bland. And what's great about him, he's doing what a lot of companies are doing these days. They're focused on nutrient-dense foods sourced sustainably from their native regions, like the Himalayas in this case. All right, enough gushing over the quality of this real whole food. Let's get into the recipe. First, two cups of Himalayan tartary buckwheat. Two eggs, preferably pasture-raised, organic, and in an ideal world, you get it from your local farmer. Two teaspoons baking powder, one teaspoon baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. As an option to sweeten it up a little bit, you can add one tablespoon of either sugar or honey. A quarter cup olive oil or melted butter. I use olive oil. I love olive oil. And here's the kicker a cup and a half of raw kefir. Many refer to it as kefir. To make your own kefir, check out the recipe right there in that video. Raw kefir is packed with probiotics. Unfortunately, when you cook it, it's gonna lose most of those probiotics, but it still does help with absorption and digestion of the nutrients and the wholesome goodness of the bread. This is gonna to add to the tanginess it is also going to help your bread rise. By the way, if you want your bread to rise even further, add one cup of regular flour. I do it without. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 175 degrees Celsius. Grease a nine by five loaf pan. I didn't have one of those, so I just used a pan that I had available. It worked, wasn't ideal but do what you have at your disposal. You can grease it, I used olive oil, or you can line it with parchment paper, your choice. In a bowl, you're gonna to wanna to beat the eggs, then add the wet ingredients, the kefir, the olive oil, the honey. Then add the dry ingredients, the Himalayan tartary buckwheat flour, the baking powder, the baking soda, the salt, mix that up. You don't want to overmix. The batter should be slightly lumpy, but without any dry spots of flour and smooth over the top with a spatula. Everyone's oven is a little different. The directions that I first got said 40 to 45 minutes. I found that 25 to 30 minutes, I check it and it's usually ready. To check it, just take a toothpick and poke it in the middle. If it comes out clean, you're good. Take it out. Let the pan cool for about 10 minutes. You can use a spatula to get it out of there and let it completely cool after that. Remove it from the pan, put some of it in the fridge and the rest in the freezer. Leave comments. I wanna know how the recipe worked for you. Let me know if you've made any alterations that you really enjoyed and wanna share. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Like the video. And remember, if you've grown up hooked on the standard American diet and you're feeling less than optimal, make incremental changes in your life to lead a cleaner, more natural, active lifestyle. 
and it'll make all the difference. I love you.